Let's fucking work our ass off. 15 fucking minutes. I love you, boys. Right? I love you. Fucking I love, love you, brother. Love, love, love you, brother. Kiss your brother. Your brother. Love fucking you, love you, boys. All right. Let's go. 15 a month. Give something. What do they Peace. This will definitely be the best team that we've ever assembled on paper, for sure. Down to Bandonato, and he scores! Let's go! I think the boys are ready for the challenge. Guys, you gotta check your egos at the door. You guys are playing for the name in the front of the jersey, not the one in the back. In Canada, we beat in US, but we never beat the Czechs and Slovaks. They're not going for a fifth with us. I think if we stick to that identity, we could beat anybody in the world. My name is John Kantitsis. I'm the president of the Hellenic Ball Hockey Association. We created this association back in 2008 for uh, primarily the sole purpose uh, originally was to uh, participate in the World Ball Hockey Championships uh, with the International Street Ball Hockey Federation that occur uh, every two years. My name is George Volumanos. I'm Team Greece head coach as of 2015. The program has evolved ridiculously since uh, the first one in 2009. I've seen the change. It's incredible the amount of work that uh, John has put into it and has improved over time. Dimitrios James Nistis. I go by Jimmy Nistis. Been part of ball hockey for a greater part of 20 years. My name is Kostas Zafiropoulos. I've been part of uh, the ball hockey world for about 20 years. Common goal. We have a fucking good team. We as coaches have a lot of decisions to make on the fly and how we play. We believe in everybody. You're here for a reason, right? That we can we're playing the people that want to play. So just go out there and show us that you want to play from game one to game. Hopefully the last game is next month. something for tomorrow preparation so the team we're playing tomorrow lost big today they lost 11-1 so our goal tomorrow honestly is 12 goals we need 12 goals because if anything happens we need the extra goal on the, on the plus or minus or a shutout. okay or, or a shutout or 11 so our objective tomorrow is come out hard score 12 goals or more and obviously you can't I know there are friends on the other side but Nothing less than 12. They're collapsing top of the circle. Yeah. You're going to have that one timer from the defenseman to defense. Leave that guy in the middle. There's not much for me to say to you boys. Like We've done our job. We brought you guys here. It took us three years for this tournament. We've prepared the way for you. We've assembled a great team over Arms here, a team. tight team, and a stacked all-star team. But it's up to you guys somewhere to fucking bring it. Some of you guys have been training for a year, year and a half. Get here. Leave it all on the floor. I, I have confidence in every single one of these players. That's why we picked you guys. I know what you guys can do. Now it's time to show the world what you can do. Enough talk. We're happy we're home. Uh, it actually gives us a bit of an advantage we find.
7:45. We have an event before the game. We have to prepare and prepare for the actual game. So 6:45 at the lobby. First goals coming up. First goals. First goals. Lots of them today. Start. We start with Pino Bandana, the last one. Simon Taskis, even though he should have got it on the first tip in. Oh boy. And his, and his little brother, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his Might as well, huh? Good job, boys. Good start. Get ready for tonight. Big challenge. Uh, Come on, Luke. Rest up. Rest up. Rest up. Rest up. Rest up. Six forty-five. Lock. Don't be late. Skórovať. No to už nebude zakázané uvoľnenie, bol tam teď. No a Fini je na dobre na forčeku, Pukema to vyskúšal z ťažkého uhla. Ale Johannes Pukema prihráva na dobrú do dobrej pozície pre svojho spoluhráča, ktorý už s najväčšou pravdepodobnosťou rozhoduje o tom, že Fini zvýťazia. We had a 2-1 lead against Finland with about two and a half minutes left. A little bit of a heartbreaker. Uh, they ended up tying it with about two minutes. And uh, at the end, with eight seconds left, one of our players' stick actually ended up breaking behind the net. And the next thing you know is in the front and they popped it in with eight seconds left. So It was unfortunate because we were really playing well that tournament. And, uh, but uh, just that's hockey. That's a game. It's one game. It could go either way. Sometimes a better team doesn't win. It's part of the sport, it's part of the game. It's been a sour feel in my mouth. It still hurts me. So close to, uh, you know, another medal opportunity and it came short just, you know, last minute of the game. I know the guys are, are really, like, ready to go and they want that game for sure on, on Thursday. because uh, it's going to be a good one. Actually, this guy wants to curl right on it yeah. on his forehand yeah, yeah. so always try to force him so you give him the, the other way right he, they always want to curl in guys yeah. so just just look at it. if the guy's left or right you're gonna know if he's able to curl it or not that's what they want to do let's man up you're always gonna get a stick check a body check let's get that get it out of the zone you guys gotta be very careful in the zone like John said it's not one and done these guys will cycle cycle they'll even yeah. fucking change on it <laughs> Go, 
Soltis is standing there. I mean, because he's got nowhere else to go, but if everyone, he's the right hander, he needs to be on the off wing. And the way we're going to get him that one timer, or Alvo, or whoever's to play on the left side, we have to circle cycle. All right? Um, so, lefty up here. We got Alvo up there. We got here, 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 here. All right? Actually, let's start this guy on the side of the net. Okay? We're going to start, and that's going to be Soltz. Where are you? That's gonna be you. I'll tell you why. We're switching. We're switching it up. I'll show you why. No, no, no. I'll, we're switching. I'll show you why. I'll show you why. It's gonna work for the one timer. Okay. So it's gonna stay with Adamu. Coming off the power. Okay. Play. I'm with Rom. Yeah. So I'm, exactly. After power play, it's gonna be you guys. I'm gonna be Rom. It's gonna be you guys. Okay. And you guys stick together. Okay. Five on five. Rom. We're starting. You guys are together. We started together. Go, go Rom. Go Rom. Go Rom.
Rich. I would consider our biggest rivalry uh, since I've been uh, a part of this team, uh, USA. I feel like every time we play the USA, uh, it's the grittiest games. The guys are willing to battle for each other, regardless of where they're from. They could be from Montreal, Toronto, Niagara. We take a lot of pride in, uh, in wearing the blue and white and representing our Greek heritage. I'm looking forward to facing off against them. Love big games, love when, you know, there's something on the line and uh, I think it's going to make for, for, for entertainment. You guys have five seconds, you're taking so long, the guy catches up to you, pins you on the board, the next thing you know it's in our zone for another 10 seconds. Move the ball. Wake up. Come on. We've got 30 minutes to get back in this shit. Let's go, it's one ball at a time. Let's go. They're pressing, but they're also, the odd time, they're only putting one guy in the zone, two other forwards are waiting at center. And we got three guys bringing it up. We have to utilize the, the wingers, the tippins, man. We gotta cut through that zone and find that crisp pass. Blue, uh, red line, blue line, and just deflect it in.
Rahat bari. Uzun bir de. As soon as we get some control, the wingers fly. Lob it, bank it off, whatever, let's go with speed. But this, there's way too many opportunities for these guys over here. For my well, the weak side winger needs to come okay. over. Yeah. Yeah. Weak side winger, yeah. you should be there. Just stay there, active feet. And it, you know if it goes up to their D-man, you stay in the shooting lane. You rush up there, but you stay in the shooting lane, you're going to have to block a shot. But don't let anyone walk out there freely. That's the only thing. It's hard, it's hard for the D if there's a guy top there, because if we move up to him, then there's always one guy in front, right? So like Pitsy said, if the weak side just gets a little bit more middle and leaves their D up top, just leave him up there, it's a good switch off. surprise everybody at this tournament. I know, uh, you know, I've, this is my fourth tournament. I know the coaching staff knows what they could get out of me. I know the players know the type of player I am. I know there's more in the tank. <laughs> This hot shot, uh, I'm playing in my local league, garbage. It's fucking garbage. I'm, an, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is, uh, I was pissed a little bit out there. 
right? You guys are playing for the fucking, the name in the front of the jersey, not the one in the back. Show a little bit of respect out to Play hard, like Greeks do. Play smart. Or else we're going to fucking shorten the lineup a little bit. Let's go. It's done with George says. We'll have a beer tonight. It's done. But I expect a little bit more out of us, a little bit more class. And shut up on the bench. Let the coaches fucking do our job. And just play your game. Put the work in. Tomorrow's another day. That's all I gotta say. Kuba meant a lot to this organization. Uh, it's whoever he would meet or whoever he would talk to, everyone always respected. He always would loosen up the room. Uh, we, we got onto the team together in 2009. So it's a year we won the B pool. Uh, not, not something I credit just to us, but it helped develop the program. Uh, so th there's, there was a very close relation between me and him, whether it's uh, being roommates for all the attorneys, uh, going to all the camps together, driving down. Uh, endless, endless memories at these tournaments. So. Just a solid person at heart. Just a really good dude to be around, uh, motivating. Just full of energy, his laugh, his smile. Just a really good guy, man. His, his, his skill on the floor was just impeccable and he led by example. If there's one guy who really would have loved to have been a part of this, it definitely would have been him. In so many ways, he shaped the player that I am today. And, uh, and you could ask John or anybody of the coaching staff from the player I am now to when I entered this organization, it's, it's completely different. It's a full 180 and uh, a lot of that I owe to, to, to Steve and uh, this tournament I'm wearing number five and uh, I Gova's number is 13 nobody will ever wear 13 in this association again but uh, his first tournament he played with number five and uh, I spoke to his friends and uh, we agreed that you know what like it was obviously way too soon for, for Gova and he deserved, he deserved we thought he had one more tournament left, so that's why I switched from my number eight to number five right now. 
and uh, it's it's a reminder that every time I step on the ice, you know, I gotta play like Loba. So it's a hundred percent all the time. Be a good teammate. Be a leader whenever you can. Uh, there's not a day that goes by that uh, I don't miss him. So whoever you talk to, you can see everybody's emotional about him because he's a great guy, and it's just. Uh, Life is unfair, so uh, it's just unfair when the guy that's younger than me has to pass away. Took a good person way too early, and uh, yeah, it's sad. It really is sad. God bless his soul. He, he's, he's deeply missed. The reason why this team exists is because guys like Goba and Tasso. From what everybody said, he was the the biggest glue guy. You know what I mean? He he really seemed to get to people and spark everybody up. I came in as a rookie with him, so it was big. He's one of the guys, especially as a Quebec guy, he came in and took me and both my brothers kind of under, under his wing for sure. With uh, what happened with Gova was um, just brought the group tighter, to be honest with you. I feel like I spoke to guys on, on um, different levels that I've never really, really spoken to and uh, it brought it brought the best and the worst out of a lot of players on this team. Uh, I think we all dealt with uh, Gova's passing a little bit, uh, a little bit differently. We were all together. That was another thing about this group that uh, we've 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 kind of been through together. Uh, I find that that really builds us as a team. Gova's was my uh, my roommate with Tasso, so he really took me under his wing. You know, uh, I was still young. I was about 20 years old. Always looking to party, go out. He really kept me in check, you know, always uh, giving me some speeches before the games, especially in the room. Uh, great guy, always making everyone laugh. If there's one thing that I, I think everybody always agrees on, he was always making sure the guys were having a good time, you know, always making us laugh. I wish I got to meet him. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't, but there has been nothing but great things about him, and uh, I'm sure he's uh, left uh, a big mark on people uh, on the, like, uh, as, a, as a player and also as a person. Steph was a good guy, you know. Uh, my first experience in uh, 219 in uh, Slovakia, you know, came in there as a rookie. Guy took care of me, gave me some wise words in the tournament. I love that guy, you know, such a good guy. He's always there for anybody, whoever needed help. Never a bad vibe, you know, everyone loved him. He was so much more uh, in the locker room, away from the rink, like he was, uh, a guy that was always telling stories and laughing and making the boys feel good. You go left and I go right. We're doing the practice. Three on two. It's me. No fish. And Romano. Two fucking horses, man. <laughs> So I get the ball in the back, right? And I pass it to Romano. And this guy and this guy, obviously, they're like fucking 40-yard uh, dash uh, sprinters. So my number was uh, whatever, 19. So obviously, I'm fucking trailing the plane. <laughs> obviously, bro. That's my back. Fireball, take it easy, bro. <laughs> this was practice, bro. We don't snipe in practice, right? We have to do the drill. But Gorsos doesn't care, bro. Because the guy... From 1996, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, the guy was a captain. So, bro, I'm running like this, from behind. I see these guys was all the blowing right by me. 19, you gotta move it up, 19. <laughs> it just puts things in perspective that this is just the game at the end and, and, and everything around it is more important. But what's great about this game of ball hockey is that I personally and the players around me have made so many friends and have met so many people due to this game and uh, that's the most important thing and uh, he was no uh, he was no different so uh, this game gave me the chance to meet an individual like that and uh, man he's really really gonna be missed you know but uh, he loved the game and uh, and uh, oof, wow I would, I would do anything to have him here with us again, but I, I know he's going to be watching and I know he's going to be cheering on, so I think we're going to, I think our players are also going to feed off that.
We're not going for a fifth because I think we got this today. We all have an excellent opportunity. Let's fucking make the most of it. Start the period off hot again and finish it even stronger. Yeah. All right, so let's break it down. That's it, boys. Let's fucking work our ass off. 15 fucking minutes. I love you, boys. Right? I, love, I fucking love, love your brother. Love your brother. Love your brother. Love your brother. Kiss your brother. I love fucking you. love you, boys. All right, let's go. 15 a month. Get something. What's up, dude? You have your parents, your grandparents that immigrated from from Greece to here, and you're representing your whole your whole bloodline, you know? And all the people that sacrificed their lives in Greece to come, play, to come here for, for the future. This is an opportunity for us to show how good we really are. They have a very good system. They've been playing together for years. They've won four straight tournaments. So they know what it takes, but uh, we're up for the challenge. I think we're gonna give them a, a good run for their money. I play for what's in the front of the crest. I play for my grandparents, I play for my parents, and I play for everybody that comes to watch us and the whole community. You guys are fucking playing phenomenal. There's no adjustments yeah. now. Okay. Face-offs are great. Even though the two we lost, we blocked them because we had we were lanes. Yeah. Guys, you're playing amazing, man. Uh, Keep it up. Brian, that first seven boy, minutes, boy, man. Uh, no. Four checking, guys. Four checking, boys. Boys, on the draws, they must get some help. Let's try to tie him up. On the draws, try to try to tie him up. Get some winger help because yeah. yeah. they're strong yeah. fuckers. We're playing their zone, eh? Let's go. We're playing in their zone, guys. Keep shooting, man. Fantastic. When they're in the middle, they always cross it over. There's always a guy running in. Always. Just hey, Josh, cut that. D, that just know there's a, always a guy on the opposite end coming in full speed. Always. We said we wanted a good start. We got a great start. We're up a goal. Doesn't matter. These guys are defending the champs. You said it. They're not going to roll over and give it to us. We've got to keep on working hard. We're the fresher legs. We have some injured bodies, or, but we're the fresher legs. Overall, as a team, we're playing stronger. Keep up doing what you're doing. Every shift stronger and stronger and stronger until the end. Don't let up for anything.
one ref doesn't have a boss to call it once, I'd love to see it one time. Right, right. So, in a game like this, you yeah. made, made, yeah. made a great boss call it the other guy ripped off his bucket and he gave more shots than I know it's I don't see that and that's what he told me, but I didn't see that. Okay, that was, that was, okay. That was the point. I just want to say one thing. Would you guys want to be in any better place or not? Fucking right. Fucking right. If I told you before the game, it's going to be 3 2 for you going to the third, it's all in your hands. Would you take it or not? Fucking right. It's up to you, boys. You got 15 to go, boys. You got what? Five shifts each? Two years? Five shifts? I can't say anything else, boys. This, all, this is all that fucking counts. Hey, Ryan says you, you all, all you keep doing is talk to him. He knows. He's aware. We're going to get a call. I'm telling you guys, we're going to get a call. Keep moving those feet. We're going to get a call. Okay? Two developing. Delta Bandanado. And he scores! Peter Abandonado through the legs, top corner. Let's go! Lineup, the odd man off the fucking board, there's a guy there. If not, they stack the front, we stack the front, cut through the lanes on the face off. Oh, We're gonna have white guys. Boys gonna be out. Alright? Boys, 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 they've been good on the draw, tie him up and get help. They've been great on the draw. Tie him up and get help. Right behind the face off, go right behind us. Right behind us. I think deep down, every one of these individuals over here want to beat the Czech and Slovak. It's a real cool thing that we're able to do it here this year with uh, with all the friends and families of our team here. A lot of Greeks feed off that passion, that energy. Pretty surreal, honestly, like, uh, you know, seeing all those flags up there, all our friends, family. <laughs>
This is our weakness. <laughs> the six player. The six player. I'm telling you this, I know we're all high. This is our biggest weakness. Big win, we come yes, we come yeah, I, know, I know, I know, I know. Let's I go. Woo! What up, baby? Let's go, baby. Fucking rage, Charles. Fucking rage. Fucking rage. Fucking rage. I was like a hey, no. oh, so Let's go! 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 Oh, 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 oh,
This is the biggest fucking Greek ball hockey win of all time. Woo! We've been in the Americans in all the time. We've knocked off the fucking Canadians. But we did what nobody's done since 2013. 13? 11, 13. 13, 15, 17, 19. We've knocked out fucking Slovaks that are going over. So tonight, have fun, eat. One drink. One drink. And job's not done for sure. Two more. Eight, two more. Job's not done. Every time we win big, we flop the next day. When you walk out of this room, you walk out with a smile. Business. Serious as business. You're back here tomorrow for the same shit. Hey. 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 Just to John's point, I know we're all excited, we're happy, zero poo poo talk, whatever the fuck it is. Everybody's getting texts, taps on the back, fucking we're legit. Like he said, be a fucking pro. We're fucking Be a pro. Thank you, appreciate it. We are fucking pro. Canada, bro, Canada's like this right now, for real. Think about it, okay? Yes, we're playing Greece. Think about that. Think about it. Hey, hey, look, look, look at that. That's what a win looks like, eh, boys? Also, what I love about these tournaments is it's just it's a week away from your everyday routine and your everyday life. Uh, you're a hockey player for a week, and it's something we all watch on TV and we all, you know, uh, want to be almost. And it's just this tournament takes you away from your everyday life, and you're a professional every every week uh, for the whole week. So uh, the HB, HBHA does a great job in treating you as a professional and the morning meetings, uh, the practices, uh, the getting together with the guys is just, it's uh, its just, uh, it, it's an awesome week and uh, it's memories that I'll never forget and I'll have for the rest of my life. What brings me back is uh, the man that runs the, the, the whole organization, John is a workaholic, he, he has one goal and one goal is to win gold and he's asked me to help him ever since uh, 2015 and I, I'm not going to say no to John. I look up to him, I look up to the work ethic and, and I appreciate him asking to be on board with him. I think uh, this will get guys going even more, light a flame, uh, and uh, I think we're, we're well positioned to kind of share this memory with friends and family. Uh, I know speaking for myself, I kind of learned how to play hockey here in, uh, here in Laval uh, around uh, two or three years old and then uh, ended up playing, you know, across the world, uh, you know, across Europe and, and, and uh, the U.S. ice hockey. And this might be a little different, but it's great to be back here, you know, all these years after and uh, being able to share some hockey memories again with uh, family and friends. Talking to my wife years ago and I told her, okay, 2015 is going to be the last one. And then 17 came, uh, okay, one more. And then 19, one more. And I think with all this COVID um, and the world pandemic, you know, this is three years now in the making and you kind of realize, wow, I really do miss this game and I really do miss this, this, the hype, the, the preparation. There's a lot of work that goes into it and sometimes it's tiring and overwhelming. But once you get here, you say to yourself, it's all worth it. So I don't know what the future holds. I think that uh, the association will be in good hands whether or I'm still here or not. But um, right now our focus is to win gold at this tournament and then we'll take it from there and see what, what comes next for sure.